All right. Um, so uh, I would very much have not liked to have started Sean's Outpost. Um, Sean's Outpost is uh, it's named after Sean Dugas, um, who was, and I'm going to cry saying this, um, uh, who was my best friend, and he was murdered in 2012. Um, and uh, actually over theft of Magic the Gathering cards, which is uh, really screwed up and it doesn't make any sense. Um, and um, I wasn't living in the same town with him at the time, and my wife and I found out that Sean died on CNN, um, which is just, it's horrible. And um, so we struggled for months after, after this loss of figuring out, you know, we had lost this amazing person, and uh, what are we going to do to keep his memory alive? And... Uh, uh, another homeless outreach in Pensacola was shutting its doors, and the person that ran it had been good friends with Sean, too. And we said, well, the least that we could do is we could keep this meal going. Uh, but so we did. So we did one, and we had never really exposed ourselves to uh, what the homeless problem was. Um, and, uh, and we just jumped down a rabbit hole, and we just we realized how one problem led to another, and how it wasn't just the stereotypes that people think of in terms of homelessness, that there are all of these economic conditions that lead to, to homelessness, and that we're all, you know, most of us are, are one paycheck or one terrible life incident away from being on the street. And, you know, we, we have... Uh, we have guys in Pensacola with master's degrees from MIT, and they live in a camp, you know? And, um, and so that's it. And so Bitcoin, um, homelessness isn't sexy, you know? It's not, it's not cute. There's not, like, little puppies involved, or there's not, like, cute seals that are getting abused. It's, uh, it's actually really hard to look at. It's really hard to look at another human being that's in a situation that we all know that we could all be in that situation. Um, but uh, human nature isn't, unfortunately, to reach out and say, to have compassion for that. Human nature is to look away because we don't want to deal with the fact that we could really be in that person's shoes. Um, so uh, the consequence of that is, is it's actually very difficult to be in a hunger charity. It's very difficult to be in a homeless charity because you get a lot of pushback. You get a lot of people that look at you no differently than if you are feeding stray dogs. Um, and so, Bitcoin um, has been so instrumental to what it is to to Sean's Outpost's mission because in our in our area it is very it is functionally illegal to be homeless. Um, so you know the the socioeconomic conditions that make those laws possible also make it very difficult to fundraise in that area because the same people that are creating the laws are the people that control most of the economy there. But so what Bitcoin has done is is that we can open up to the whole world, and we can tell our case to the whole world. And if you think that people starving to death in the street is a bad thing, and you are in Germany, and you don't want to see people starve to death in Florida, instantly you can fund that, and you can make sure that someone gets a sandwich. And, uh, and that's never really been possible, ever, in, in the history of humanity, um, is that if you care about someone else or some issue somewhere else, anywhere on the planet Earth, you can come to their aid with your treasure. Um, and that's what makes Bitcoin magic internet money, is that you can do that. Um, and, and that's John's Outpost.